I hereby call the meeting of the Brockton City Council to order for Monday, January 27, 2020, 7 p.m. Please stand and join me in saluting our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilors, please remain standing. Councilor Cruz. Uh, thank you, Madam President. I'd just like to take a moment uh, of silence for uh, three great public servants who all passed away in the last week or so. Um, first, Judge Paul Murphy, who was a 14-year state rep here in Brockton and a uh, great jurist and uh, friend of the city and has uh, passed away on the Cape this past weekend. And uh, we send Ma his wife, Marsha, and his family our thoughts and prayers. Also, a longtime Brockton businessman and former chairman of the Conservation Commission, John Boyage, and owner of Crystal Queen, has passed away. And not a resident of Brockton, but certainly a friend of Brockton. Uh, buried today was Jack Buckley of Abington, former state rep and uh, secretary of ANF under Governor Dukakis, and uh, father of John Buckley, our Register of Deeds, and a, a great friend to Brockton when he was in office. And I'd like to ask for a moment of silence for the three, three servants. Thank you. Thank you, Council. May they rest in peace. Our condolences go out to their families. Um, I did receive uh, calls from Councilors Monaghan and Rodriguez who are not able to join us this evening due to, um, due to work. Uh, before we begin with our agenda this evening, we do have our Honorable Mayor here with us this evening in Council Chambers, and he wanted um, just to take a minute to update us on his trip to Washington and uh, what's going on in the city. Thank evening, you very Mayor. much, Madam President, Mr. Clerk, uh, members of the City Council. Uh, thank you for having me here. Um, just wanted to come before you, as I said, to give regular information sharing and updates. Um, number one, uh, again, tomorrow night, and uh, I'd like everybody, if you can, fit it in. Please join us at Brockton High School, 6 to 8 tomorrow night in the Nelson Main Auditorium. It's a community engagement meeting. Um, we are going to have reserved seating in the front row for the City Council and the School Committee. Uh, on stage will be Mike Thomas as superintendent, myself, Council Azak as the president, and Mark D'Agostino as the vice chair. Uh, again, it should be a really good two hours, so if you can make it, we'd love to see you there. Um, I do want to thank uh, the Council President. Uh, as you know, I was in Washington, D.C. last week, and, and uh, the Council President stood in as the acting mayor. Uh, she did an awesome job, and I, I truly, truly thank you for that. Um, just to let you know about the Washington, D.C. trip, it was the National Mayor's Conference uh, down in D.C., a uh, historic time to be in, in the nation's capital. I was joined by uh, the mayors from Boston, from Everett, from Revere, from New Bedford, from Framingham, um, and from Beverly. Uh, so it was quite a, quite a good contingency from Massachusetts. Seminars started at 8 in the morning, uh, ran, ran the gamut from police uh, policy to homelessness uh, to the opiate addiction uh, issues. So really relevant. Um, I just had, had shared to, uh, to Legislative Council uh, one, one uh, afternoon, I took a cab over and met with Carlos Viega, the uh, esteemed ambassador at the Embassy of Cape Verde. It was beautiful. We had an hour conversation, just a genuinely nice person. Um, and we just talked about, you know, the, the, the community of Brockton and, and really the beautiful people that come here in Brockton uh, and, and the relationship building. So that was a good endeavor. And then all of the mayors from the uh, Commonwealth of Massachusetts went to uh, the residence of the French ambassador. Uh, and we spoke about um, Keolis, which runs commuter rail, and I made it clear that the three stops, downtown, Campello, and Montello, uh, are great for Brockton, but they need to be better, and we need to have a regional transportation improvement, and Marty Walsh was the guest speaker, and he concurred on that. So um, good things down there. Uh, it was really, really worthwhile. A um, couple other things I just want to share with you, if I could. Um, I want to thank uh, the council president, uh, the Ward 1 council, Mr. Cruz, Council at Large Fowell, for joining me on Saturday taking time out of a weekend to go to East Walpole, Massachusetts to see a uh, development project over there uh, that may potentially come in some facet to Brockton. But again, taking your time out of the weekend, it was a unified group. I thought it was a really healthy discussion, so thank you on that. Um, and, and lastly, um, I just wanted to uh, talk about the Shaw Center briefly, if I could. Um, and I wish, I wish former mayor was here, um, but Mayor Rodriguez had agreed to rent out the Shaw Center um, to certain uh, entities, um, private entities, also the school department would do training sessions there, as well as the Chamber of Commerce. And when I took office on January 6th, 
um, due to the fact that I don't believe it's in the appropriate condition. Um, I told the school department that they could not use it there for training anymore. Uh, and superintendent agreed 100% and he's using it uh, at Brockton High School. Um, I spoke to Mr. Cooney and said the same thing. Um, and then I had uh, an independent analysis go in through Jim Pluff, the uh, interim building superintendent, to look at the condition of the property. Came back with some grave concerns. At that point, um, we had the fire uh, chief, Mike Williams, go in, and Mike, uh, in his capacity, gave me a letter. Um, and it was based upon not utilizing it anymore unless certain repairs were made and that inspections were done. Four things, uh, the sprinkler system, um, the fire suppression in the kitchen, which is inoperable, the actual physical fire extinguishes, and the last one was the uh, smoke alarm uh, process. We had them all inspected, Yankee sprinkler went in, um, and then after the inspections, we just had to do some minor electrical repairs, um, and the chief uh, revised his letter and said that it could be utilized. What I've done uh, in, in recognition of um, what Mayor Rodriguez, I'm gonna honor the individuals, there's three uh, individual groups in the month of March, there's none in February, um, and they're gonna be able to utilize it. Um, they're gonna have to have a fire watch, which is gonna be mandated along with the police detail, um, but those will be the last three um, to be able to utilize that. And then as the mayor, I'm gonna come before the council to try to figure out a master plan on how much investment to get that up to a show place. It needs to be done. So rest assured, since I've taken office, I've told nobody can rent it, so it's not under my watch, but ultimately we will honor what Mayor Rodriguez did, uh, and then we need to come together as a collective group. So that's the update on the Shaw Center. Um, we're gonna have to come together with some substantial hard numbers to really bring it up there. Um, we'll work with Troy Clarkson uh, and again the council president. So that's the update. The last one is I wanna thank um, um, Councillor uh, Lally, Councillor Thompson, and the council president for coming and joining me at the State House today. We went in to testify joint, uh, joint committee on the House and Senate relative to the Christos property. Um, three state reps were there, Senator Brady was there, um, Mary Walden from OCPC, Representative Sarah Units, and another uh, Provost Dean from Massasoit. Uh, Brockton was well, well represented. I wanna thank you all for being there. It's not always an easy drive into the State House, but um, hopefully uh, we'll be able to get what we want in terms of amendments. Um, so that's the update. Any questions for me? None? No questions. I miss, I miss <laughs> sitting up there, I'll tell you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Have a good evening. Thank you, and welcome back. Thank you. Okay, counselors. Um, Mr. Cl Ms. Clark, please read uh, agenda item number one. Acceptance of the minutes of the January 13th, 2020 City Council meeting. Accepted and placed on file. Reappointment of Spencer Benoit as a special police officer of the City of Brockton for a one year term ending January 2021. Referred to finance. Reappointment of Alicia Fernandez as a special police officer of the City of Brockton for a one year term ending January 2021. Referred to finance. Reappointment of Jonathan Drain as a special police officer of the city of Brockton for a one year term ending January 2021. Referred to finance. Reappointment of Michael Gomes as a special police officer of the city of Brockton for a one year term ending January 2021. Referred to finance. Reappointment of Darnell Campbell as a special police officer of the city of Brockton for a one year term ending January 2021. Referred to finance. Reappointment of Adilson Andrade as a special police officer of the city of Brockton for a one year term ending January 2021. Referred to finance. Reappointment of Daniel J. Vaughn as a special police officer of the city of Brockton <coughs> for a one year term ending January 2021. Referred to finance. Reappointment of Jason Mosley as a special police officer of the city of Brockton for a one year term ending January 2021. Referred to finance. Reappointment of Kevin A. Smith as a special police officer of the city of Brockton for a one year term ending January 2021. Referred to finance. Reappointment of Julie Meisherell as a special police officer of the city of Brockton for a one year term ending January 2021. Referred to finance. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of January 21st, 2020. Accepted <coughs> and placed on file. Communication from the Acting Chief of Police requesting authorization to expend grant monies related to the fiscal year 2019 U.S. Department of Justice Bulletproof Vest Program grant in the amount of $14,015.80. The grant funds will be used for the reimbursement of 50% of cost of bulletproof vests for Brockton police officers whose vests need to be replaced. No match required. Accepted and placed on file. From the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. 
from the IT director requesting a total transfer of $20,000 from information technology, full-time salaries, $20,000, to information technology, overtime, $18,000, and to information technology, out-of-state travel, $2,000. Accepted and placed on file. From the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the acting chief of police requesting authorization to expend grant monies related to the FY 2020 Municipal Public Safety Staffing Grant Program from the Executive <coughs> Office of Public Safety and Security in the amount of $275,000. The grant funds are provided for the Brockton Police to use to pay overtime wages for patrol shift replacement, shift overruns, detective investigations, restraining order service, community policing activities, etc. No match required. Accepted and placed on file. From the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the director of Brockton Public Library requesting that the city council authorize the acceptance and expenditure of the grant award in the amount of $12,030 from Mass Humanities Grant to Brockton Public Library. The grant funds will support honoraria for three panel discussions, rental of the 19th Amendment American Bar Associate traveling exhibit, We Did It For You, script and workshop, outdoor interpretive signs highlighting Brockton, our residents involved in the suffrage movement, promotional flyers and posters in a contract project director. Cost share for this grant will be met with staff salaries. A percent of time working on this project, a portion of the project director salary, supplies, rentals and promotional materials which will be paid for using state aid for public libraries. Accepted and placed on file. From the mayor recommending the same. <coughs> Accepted and placed on file. From the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the city assessor requesting the amendment of the current agreement between the city of Brockton and 127 Center Corner LLC that was adopted by the city council on September 9th, 2019 and signed by the mayor on September 10th, 2019 to state the current base value is 420 $3,800. The agreement currently states in section four, subsection A, the base value is $297,475. Accepted and placed on file. From the Director of Veterans Services, requesting the transfer of funds in the amount of $25,195.69 from Veterans Services, purchase of services, other services to Veterans Services, personal services, full-time salaries, in order to fund the part-time outreach activities position to full-time. Accepted and placed on file. From the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Ordered acceptance of grant for $600,000 from Department of Justice Office of Justice Programs Comprehensive Opioid Abuse Site Based Program COAP grant funds to Brockton Mayor's Office Comprehensive Opioid Abuse Site-Based Program COAP grant funds in City Council January 13, 2020, read and referred to Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please uh, call the roll? Hasek? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Enary? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Thompson? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Ordered acceptance of grant for $250,000 from Commonwealth of Massachusetts Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, SFY 2020 Massachusetts Municipal Public Safety Staffing Grant to Brockton Fire Department, SFY 2020 Massachusetts Municipal Public Safety Staffing Grant Fund in City Council January 13, 2020 read and referred to Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ianeri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Thompson? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Ordered that sum of $5,457,233 is appropriated to pay various capital costs as set forth, including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto, to Cemetery Department $650,000, Fire Department $1,260,000, Information Technology total $448,000,
Water Department total $1,126,233 and Parks and Recreation total $1,973,000. In City Council, January 13, 2020, read and referred to Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Councils, the question is on passage to a third reading by hand vote. All those in favor? All those opposed? The order passes. Ordered acceptance and expenditure of the grant award in the amount of $4,855 from Massachusetts Department of Transportation MassDOT Safe Routes to School Signs and Lines Grant to Brockton School Department Safe Routes to School Signs and Lines Grant Fund in City Council January 13, 2020. Read and referred to Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Asak? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Enary? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Thompson? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Ordered, one, that the mayor of Brockton, pursuant to the provisions of Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Rec. 53A, B, and is hereby authorized to accept grants from the Commonwealth's Mass Work Programs, and two, that the mayor of Brockton, B, and is hereby authorized to expend and take such other actions as are necessary to carry out the terms, purposes, and conditions of this grant to be administered by the Department of Planning and Economic Development, and three, that this order shall take effect upon passage, grant in the amount of $229,000. In City Council, January 13, 2020, read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Council Castro. Thank you, Madam President. Unfortunately, we've, dis we've noticed some Scrivener's errors with this one, and I've spoken with the mayor about it this evening, and he would like the opportunity to resubmit it. So at this time, I'm going to make a motion to table it. Second. Second. Thank you. A motion has been made and properly seconded to table um, <coughs> item number 33. All those in favor? All those opposed? It's tabled. Thank you. Madam President, <coughs> Madam President, at this time I'd like to move that we take items 34, 35, 36, and 37 collectively. Second. A motion has been made and properly seconded. All those in favor of taking the items collectively? All those opposed? Okay. Madam Clerk. Okay. Order, rules and regulations governing motor vehicles for hire under Chapter 159A for the carrying of passengers in City Council January 13, 2020, read and referred to Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Order, assessors to act as agents of City Council in matter of apportionment of betterments in City Council January 13, 2020, read and referred <coughs> to Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Order. Click to, uh, clerk to give notice of hearings before council in city council, January 13, 2020. Read and referred to standing committee on finance. That report was favorable. The questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please read the roll? Asak? Yes. Cardoza? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ianeri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Thompson? Yes. Nine in the affirmative? The orders are adopted. Order, pawnbrokers are to deliver a list of purchased pawned articles to the Chief of Police and City Council, January 13, 2020. Read and referred to Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Referred to ordinance. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, it was favorable. Where are we here? Number 37. Number 37. That was favorable, okay. <laughs> it says it was favorable. On adoption by a roll call vote. All the... Who was favorable? You're going to have to we call that one. Point of order, That's Madam President. I believe we took that as part of the collective. That's what uh, we took 34 through 34 read. through 36. She's got to read it. I heard 34, 35, 36. She has to read it. Okay, 36. Has to read it. Heidi, read Yeah, I'll read 37 read number again. 37. Order. Please. Pawnbrokers are to deliver a list of purchased pawned articles to the Chief of Police. In City Council, January 13, 2020, read and referred to Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Please read the roll, Madam Clerk. Asak? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ianeri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. 
Thompson? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order passes, is adopted, so. Ordinance, an ordinance amending Article 3, Section 2-186 of the Revised City Ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Section 2-186 of Chapter 2 is hereby amended relative to Assistant City Solicitor. Referred to ordinance. Ordered, acceptance and expenditure of the grant award in the amount of $14,015.80 from U.S. Department of Justice FY 2019 Bulletproof Vest Program Grant to Brockton Police Department FY 2019 Bulletproof Vest Program Grant Fund. Referred to finance. Ordered, total transfer of $20,000 from information technology, full-time salaries $20,000, to information technology overtime, $18,000, and to information technology out of state travel, $2,000. Referred to finance. Ordered acceptance and expenditure of the grant award in the amount of $275,000 from Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, FY 2018 Municipal Police Services Staffing Grant to Brockton Police Department, FY 2018 Municipal Police Services Staffing Grant Fund. Referred to finance. Ordered the acceptance and expenditure of the grant award in the amount of $12,030 from Mass Humanities Grant to Brockton Public Library. Referred to finance. Ordered that the City Council hereby amend the tax increment exemption agreement between the City of Brockton and 127 Center Corner LLC to read in Section 4, Subsection A, the base value $423,800. Referred to finance. Ordered total transfer of $25,195.69 from Veteran Services Purchase of Services Other Services to Veteran Services Personal Services Full Time Salaries. Refer to finance. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Um, I just have a quick announcement, counselors. Um, Lynn Smith has contacted me regarding an event that um, she the Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association is having. Um, they're working with Cardinal Spellman High School's art program and Brockton Beer Company in, um, on a display here in City Hall at the lower level entrance near uh, the entrance in the basement for Black History Month. So um, they're going to have a, an unveiling next week, uh, which is Mon well, Monday, February 3rd at 6 p.m and they've, all, they've invited all of us uh, to be there and anybody in the public, so we're looking forward to this. This is um, February 3rd at 6 p.m. here at City Hall before our finance meeting, so hopefully everybody will be there. Um, it should be a great event, so thank you. Okay. I have a quick announcement. Councilors, if you have agreed to sponsor an item, you must call or email the city clerk and let him know or it will not be on the agenda. So. Please make sure you um, call the clerk and let him know when something's going to, somebody's reached out to you to sponsor something. Uh, do you have any questions or any I do. announcements? Okay. So Councilor Cardoso. Yes. Um, just to remind everyone on Thursday the 30th is the grand opening of our um, community center at North Junior High School. So we've been working on this for a few months now. We're very proud of this center, Mike Thomas. Um, helped us to get this going, and we invite all, all of you to come out and check it out. So it's at 6.30 at North Junior High. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor Nicastro. Thank you, Madam President. I just wanted to mention that um, this past weekend, I attended the annual meeting and trade show of the Massachusetts Municipal Association. It's held once a year, usually in January, at the Heinz Convention Center in Boston on a Friday and a Saturday. There's a very large, um, convention space with all kinds of booths, but I went for the knowledge. Two days of, of uh, workshops and lectures on all kinds of issues that affect cities and towns. It was very worthwhile. I wasn't able to go to everything. There was a, um, a, a limitation in the number of people who could attend different talks, and I got boxed out of a number of them, but I still got the uh, information. They actually had an <coughs> app and you would put the app on your phone and then all of the information that was provided, if they happened to run out of it at the, at the uh, convention, it was still on your phone, you can print it all. So it was very worthwhile. And then on Sunday, 
The Brockton Symphony Orchestra had a chamber music concert that I actually dragged my husband to. It was at three o'clock at the Congregational Church on Pleasant Street. Just fabulous. About 120 people attended. Um, you know, it's funny, I have a, I have a Ward 4 resident who I am fond of who likes to call and tell me about how limited the culture scene is in Brockton. I don't think so. This was wonderful culture. There are two more Brockton Symphony concerts before the end of their year this year. I would urge everyone to look into it and to attend. The tickets are reasonable. The culture is great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you counselors. With no further business before us this evening, this meeting's adjourned.